Hey everyone, this is Colton Locke, aka Funtivity Colton, here with Singletracks.com. Today we are going to be taking a look at the GoPro Hero 5, specifically the image stabilization and how well it works for mountain biking. Let's go check it out. This is the GoPro Hero 5. It's fairly similar to the GoPro Heroes 3 and 4, aside from a handful of really nice new features, including a touchscreen viewfinder on the back, built-in waterproofing without a housing, and improved sound recording quality. The Hero 5 has a couple of really nice functions, including built-in image stabilization, which is the main reason I purchased this camera. GoPros are great cameras to take out mountain biking. They're small and they attach to just about everything. But mountain biking is so rough that it's tough to get good watchable footage. So we're going to put the image stabilization of the GoPro Hero 5 to the test on three different mounts and we're going to see if it can keep up with some good old rough mountain biking. The first mount we're going to try today is the handlebar mount. You can see here on the road it functions quite well. The clip on the left has image stabilization off where the clip on the right has image stabilization on. You can see both work quite well, and here image stabilization almost isn't quite necessary. Even on a gravel path or a dirt road, with the image stabilization off it's a little difficult to watch, but with the image stabilization on it looks pretty darn good. But once we hit the trails, that is a totally different story. The image stabilization just can't keep up with this rough rocky terrain, and you can see how this is really difficult to watch. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here before I throw up. Next up we're going to check out the helmet mount. The helmet is a great place to mount the camera because your head stays quite stable throughout the ride and so you can get some pretty decent footage. As you can see here on the gravel road, image stabilization off looks really good and image stabilization on also looks really good. So here it's maybe not even necessary, but once we get to the single track, again, this is where it gets rough. And finally, we're going to go ahead and check out the chesty mount, which is my personal favorite mount to use for a GoPro. I think the helmet mount gets some really good stable footage, but it's just kind of like a camera floating down the trail, whereas the chesty mount gives a lot more context to what's going on. So as you can see here on the gravel road, both image stabilization on and off provides a really good picture. I love the angle and the shot that the chesty provides. Once we hit the single track though, without image stabilization, it's pretty rough. The image stabilization is able to compensate for some of the rough spots on this trail, but unfortunately it's still just a little bit too shaky for really great watchable footage. So what's the verdict for the GoPro Hero 5's image stabilization? I think it works really well, especially for handheld shots. If you're on a hike and holding the GoPro or filming a friend ride by or anything that's handheld, it really takes a lot of the hand shakiness out of the footage and makes it nice and smooth. For point of view riding, it works pretty well when it's attached to the helmet because that's pretty smooth already, but when it's attached to the chesty, it's still pretty shaky. In the end, if you want to get some ultra smooth POV footage, I think the best option is going to be a gimbal. I personally would choose a cheaper GoPro Hero 4 and a gimbal versus purchasing the more expensive GoPro Hero 5 just for the image stabilization. That being said, there are some gimbals coming out for the GoPro Hero 5, so if you're willing to throw down the money, you can get an awesome setup for this camera. So thanks for hanging out with me today and checking out the GoPro Hero 5's image stabilization. I would love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below and let me know what footage you think is best. Do you like it mounted on the helmet or on the chest? What is a more fun experience, in your opinion, to watch? If you haven't yet, be sure to click this little circle to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Strava at FuntivityColton. Thanks so much for hanging out today. We'll catch you on the trail. And I know what you're all wondering, am I wearing Sonic the Hedgehog socks? And the answer is yes I am, and yes, they do make you faster.